Um, we're playing tomorrow against Benin. It's a tough match tomorrow. Um, as we have uh, lost the last match, we we should win tomorrow. Um, the team is in a good mood, uh, still, me too, and uh, I hope we are not doing the same thoughts. We have analyzed our mistakes that were leading uh, uh, at least to the first goal, what was absolutely unnecessary and uh, made, made the situation for us very difficult, but uh, it's a new match, so it's, uh, it's a new challenge. It's a new challenge, uh, and uh, yeah, we are looking forward to to start tomorrow. Yeah, what was missing? Uh, um, I told my players. I told my players that uh, on this level, you will be punished if you are not following the instructions and that you are not uh, doing things as uh, as we talked about and uh, that's happened or that's what happened uh, in the last match and um, we discussed about these situations and I hope that uh, uh, we won't make these mistakes again um, because if you make mistakes as I said on this level then uh, uh, it's uh, it's quick that you get one goal, and if you are having uh, one goal, then it is also not easy to uh, to equalize or to come back out of different reasons. Uh, the other team is sitting back and is waiting for counter attacks. Uh, they have to they have to, the players to do both. They have the players to attack, and they have the players to play on counter attack. So it's a uh, it's a very good team we are playing against and uh, about uh, the injured players um, as it looks like uh, Chojea uh, may be fit with uh, Mansi uh, the situation uh, is not as bad as we we thought it could be but uh, it is probably not uh, possible that he can start it was a di it was not a mistake uh, <laughs> in marking him uh, or it was sure there was one player who was not taking his job and uh, that's why uh, this number 9 monier was getting to more or less a free header uh, this is the big mistake so uh, somebody thought he has to do something else i don't know what uh, for sure it was not the right thing he was doing and uh, but even even if he would have been there, they are very, very difficult to defend because they are just much taller than we. And it's not only one player. They have also uh, two players from the defense that are coming in the box. So we have to deal with at least three very tall guys. What is uh, an absolute advantage they have? And we don't have these size to, to get against them. Um, so uh, you can try to disturb, but when he is jumping and I am jumping, uh, I will never get as high as he gets. Uh, so uh, somehow it's it's difficult, and there is uh, there we cannot get a chair in the box and uh, step on the chair, uh, as I said. Uh, so uh, some of these situations you have to try to avoid. Uh, that's what I told my players. Uh, take care not to make easy corner balls for them or even throw-ins because they also have a guy who has uh, long throw-ins. So, um, but sometimes you can't do anything against it. So then you have to deal with the corner and with the situation. Then you can say, okay, goalkeeper, uh, go closer or go more out from the, from the box. Um, but uh, so it has to to work in a group uh, um, and um, if, if something like last time uh, one of the group is missing then it's a big disadvantage and a very good advantage for the opponent team and that's what we are trying now to, yeah, to solve these problems.
but somehow it will be always dangerous. You can, you can for sure expect that our team is uh, highly motivated and um, that we are again trying to play football. Uh, I think if you watched the last match, we could have scored in the, in the third minute. Then we had the corner ball and in the next corner ball we received the goal. Uh, so uh, um, it's not that we, are, uh, that we are playing against them and we don't have a chance. Uh, we have and we will try to, to, to use this chance. Um, as I said at the beginning, it will be a tough game, but it will also be a tough game for them. We don't make it easy, that's uh, for sure. And we will try everything to, to pressure them and to, uh, to pressure them to make forts so that we uh, get our chances as at the beginning of the match. Um, and okay, uh, then hoping you are not making or we are not making mistakes and then it will be an open match. I al already said in the last press conference, uh, I don't talk uh, about uh, lineup, uh, and I gave my explanation about uh, uh, Marvin uh, in the last press conference. He has not played for more than one year. Now he has done two matches, I think, in the second team. Uh, do you think this is the right preparation for putting him in an international FCON match? If you would say yes, then I would think whatever I would do then. Uh, but uh, before you ask questions like that, you have to inform yourself. What happened to this guy? Why is he not playing for one year? How many matches has he played now? Uh, where has he played these matches? And then normally this question is not making much sense. So I told you, I'm inviting this guy to give him a chance to get in contact with the team, that the team is getting contact to him, to see how he is in general, uh, has he talent or not. I told you, he is a talented guy, but he is, because of these reasons, he can't be fit for a match it's impossible. There's nothing to add, I think. OK. Emmanuel was not with us in the last camp. Uh, it's not 100% sure what really was the reason, uh, if it is, was uh, anyhow. He was not with us, so we, ha we had to replace him with Claude. Claude did two very good matches against our last two opponents for example, against Nigeria. So, um, there are now two reasons why Emmanuel didn't start. Because Claude was doing a very good match against Nigeria. And second, because I also as, have, a, as a coach, the duty to act by example. Now just think, uh, there is someone doing a very good match against a world-class team and against world-class strikers. And then someone is coming back and says, hello, I'm back again. And then uh, I say, okay, now you are coming in. I don't care what the others have done before. No, that's not the right thing. I have to show my players, if you do a good job, you will get again the chance to show that you are a good player. And that's what he, he, did. he did, or I did. And... Uh, now it's a new game. Now I, uh, we have to analyze the last match and then we make the decision. But uh, I think it was uh, the totally right decision uh, for the team and also for the future that players see if they are stepping in and they are doing a good job that they are also deserving to play the next match.